so many bugs. <laughs> Hello everyone, Stephanie here. Today's video is going to be a no spoiler review on The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. If you guys don't know, this book is about a world where there is a lot of interplanetary travel not even like planets because they don't really go to planets they go to space stations and they stay space station wide that part was i'm not gonna lie a little bit confusing but in this world the um, this is far far in the future like there's even a part in the book where they do remark that they were talking about oh it was strange languages like latin but then they also mentioned english which is obviously our language so I'm pretty sure this is very far in the future and a lot of people and these weird people who are very enhanced and they like do stuff to their face constantly, they do not live on planets and for those who do live on planets, they're called excess. They're pretty much just excess people, you're waste, like you're just excess, like you know what I mean? That kind of excess. And everyone, like you know, you have the emperor who is the ruler of everything and who his family who has ruled for a very very long time has banned the study of like science so you're in the future meaning you're going from spaceship to spaceship from planet to planet from solar system to whatever and they have ships but they don't know how to actually fix their ships they don't know how to do mechanics they don't know science they don't really know a lot of things because it's all banned pretty much knowledge is banned and they rely on robots to take care of their machines and robots to fix those robots but a lot of accidents have been happening out in space a lot of ships that have just gone to crap and have exploded and they create kind of what they call dead space and it has like its own repercussions because of that but now it's become like a known wide, widely known secret that Things are getting really bad. So you have that. But on top of that, you also just have that these people are powerful. They each have their own thing. And you're following Sidonia. And Sidonia has what is called a diabolic. And a diabolic is an enhanced human. They're physically stronger. They're faster. They're bigger. And her name is Nemesis. And what they're for are to protect. But what this when we start off in the book, you find out that they actually want to get rid of diabolics because what a diabolic does is they are there to protect their person. They're bonded to one person. So Nemesis is bonded to Sidonia. If anyone ever threatened her life in any which way, shape, or form, they kill them. That's what they do. And the thing is, is they found that it actually proves to be a lot of complications with that because a lot of people, you know, this family member wants to come to power so their diabolic kills that other person because it's threatening their bonded person's like livelihood or their chances of survival or their chances of ruling over their family, so on and so forth. And you see where Nemesis takes the place of Sidonia because her father decided to kind of test the emperor and um because her father wants to learn the sciences he wants to revoke the ban that they have on learning it and you're following nemesis as she takes Sidonia's place they do things to her to go to court pretty much it was absolutely amazing i really enjoyed it i thought it was very unique because not only do you have all of that stuff you know the fact that you can't learn sciences the fact that you you know don't live planet side as they say and also the way they just talk about people i absolutely like loved it i love how they you know have like fighting rings for animals and they like cross they do cross breeds of these animals to make them stronger and better and see who does what and then the emperor and his family they're very dark very cruel people they have like killed off everyone and his nephew who is like the or cousin the only one who lives outside of him and his his mother uh is like a madman and how they and what's another interesting thing is the only reason why her diabolic was able to take her place and go to the grandiloquy which is like court i'll just say court because it's easier for me to say is because the only way they communicate with other people is through forums and these forums project like their little like avatars onto like a screen but of course you can make it look however you want so when they see her in person it's like oh you're really interesting but there is so much stuff that goes on behind it it's politically heavy it's a little darker it has a good amount of like murder and like brutality in there 
I thought it was really, really great. There is a romance. There is something that I really wanted to happen, but that's not going to happen. And it was just so interesting. Now, one thing I did have a little tiny bit of an issue with, and I'm not, it's not a spoiler, it's the relationship between Sidonia and uh, Nemesis. I wish it would have been more so. Like, I rooted and I, like, love them, but at the same time, I'm like, I feel like it could have just been a little bit more, so we understand the bond just a little bit more. But I loved the characters, I loved how different they were, and I loved just how original the story was. Also, the writing was very, very good. Uh, SJ Kincaid, you knocking it out of the park. I'm loving your writing. I cannot wait to get my hands on the second book. Have you guys read The Diabolic? Have you read the second book, which is Empress? The Empress? Uh, comment down below. Let me know. Please, no spoilers, but homegirl needs to read the second book because I'm going crazy. I read this already a while ago and I'm just like, I really, really, really want the second book, but I love it. It's a great science fiction and it's just great. It was so great. So that is my no spoiler review. I really loved everything about it and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.